Jones. Okay, so greetings Libra, welcome your horoscope. So this weekend is super fun. This weekend, moon's in the fifth house, so there's like all this love and there's this ability to go. So yeah, you got Venus and Mars in the twelfth house. I mean, that could be like really awesome pleasures in the bedroom. Um, it could be secret enemies, you know. There's this couple at work that are against you, you know, I don't know. <laughs> you know, that's some mundane, that'd be like a horrible interpretation. Um, I think a lot of romantic fantasy, though. I would think Venus and Mars in the 12th, there's a lot of romantic fantasy. And there's also, in every 12th house transit, I think we feel isolated in what's affecting us in the 12th house. We don't know how to share this with others. I don't know how you're going to take this, but, you know, <laughs> there could be life on other planets. <laughs> Most of us are okay with that, but let's keep in mind, Libra, that we've got, you know, the seventh house is romance, you've got Uranus there, and then this, you know, and, and so Mars rules your seventh house in some ways, you know, Aries rules your seventh house. Um, so it's almost like you like the conflict a little bit, let's admit it. I know you like this image of being nice, but, you know, sometimes you pick a contentious mate just to, like, frame up your niceness. I'm, I'm, I'm calling you out on this, and, and this Uranus thing is like, God, these people are weird. Some of them are brilliant, though. Super engaging, and on that mental level, you'd love this. Um, now, the moon, which is also our mind, as well as our emotions, are going to be conjoined in that trickster planet, you know, in your seventh house. So what is, what is he or she up to? What is this rascally partner of mine up to? And what am I going to experience on this? And, you know, plus I've got this romantic weekend planned out, and oh, man. People don't always do things bad because things are bad. <laughs> oh, there's so much, you know. We're, we're deep people. So, you know, you got Venus in the 12th. Uh, you got North Node in the 11th. So you, you're wanting to have better social connections. Um, there's Neptune in the 6th. So it's like, you know, if you're having a problem with drinking, eroding your health, you know, there's help for that. Um, and if, you know, you, you, your family's going through changes, well, it's, I guess that's the nature of the world.